Hey YouTubers, welcome to another episode here on ESGN Net of Madden 13 Connected Careers with TJ Bonds. This is episode 7 and as you see we're getting ready for week 5 here on uh, this uh, episode of Connected Careers with TJ Bonds who plays for the Denver Broncos, the starting halfback for them. There you see his uh, goals for the season, there you see uh, 842 yards out of the 500 that he's supposed to get for the season so he's accomplished that goal. His all-time uh, legendary ranking is 1,239, and you see XP is over a little over 31,000 in XP. There you see 4-0 right now in the AFC West, and there you see some of the statistical stats for the team. Um, and Bonds has been doing cool, very, very well for himself for, as a rookie. And there you see we have to go to the Patriots. We have to go to Foxborough to play against the Patriots in a four, battle of the four nos this week. And there you see Foxborough at Gillette, uh, Gillette Stadium. There are people getting ready and uh, you see Tom Brady and crew getting ready for this uh, big game against uh, two iconic uh, quarterbacks. The one, two of the best quarterbacks in the game, Tom Brady uh, representing the Patriots and the uh, quarterback uh, for the Broncos, uh, the newly court, new quarterback for the Broncos there, Peyton Manning. So there you see Peyton Manning's stats. Uh, for the game, 1,735 yards, 13 touchdowns, and two interceptions for him for this season so far. So, like I said, uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. Ball on the 43-yard line, second and seven. There you see Bonds tries to uh, move the chains there, but unable to that time uh, for that play. So now we have to go. Uh, he lost about a yard, I would say. So it's going to be about third and eight so there you see we sim the game for our next possession and then you see uh the patriots get as close to uh getting uh, somewhat in the red zone there you see the ball is on the 16 yard line it's fourth and eight and they're going to go for a, a field goal here and it's good so they are on the board for the first strong first blood uh, scoring now a field goal there so now score being three to nothing Patriots get the lead with that field goal there so first and ten the Broncos get the ball tonight on their own 19 yard line you see Bonds goes gets runs for the first down and it's just uh, about uh, close to a first down he gets about nine on that play so second and inches ball on the 29 yard line five minutes left in the, in the first quarter Bonds gets a hands off from uh, Manny, and there you see a nice run by Bonds. He could have got around that guy if he just went to, went to the right there. So you see four rushing, four, four rushes, 18 yards so far in the game. So second and nine uh, play after uh, play in between that last play there. And you see Manning trying to throw, but unable to connect with his receiver there. So we have no choice uh, to try to go for it long, and we. Do and we don't get a chance to get uh, anything on that possession, so we have to end up kicking the ball, punting the ball to the Patriots, and the Patriots are going for another field goal. This time it's outside of the 37-yard line, and it's no good that time. So they will get no points on the board for that attempt, but a good try. So first and ten, ball on the 44-yard line with 2:19 left. He passes to Bonds, but look there, you see a takeaway by Dowling. For the Patriots, there you see he takes that for a pick six touchdown. Patriots, Patriots now on the board with a touchdown now. So now they have a nine point lead in this ball game. And you see, I think it was a back call on both ends. I think it was a back call for Bonds for calling for the ball, but also uh, for uh, Peyton. Uh, Peyton should know better not to throw uh, in that kind of cover. So second and ten, ball in the 22 yard line. And, and the Broncos own the territory. There you see a nice, oh, nope, uh, bad catch there uh, for Bonds. If you touch it, uh, at least what I've always been heard, you touch it, uh, if your hands touch it, you got to catch it. So uh, now we go ahead and go to the drive. And we get deep in this, uh, actually going to the second quarter here. First and 10, the ball on the 14-yard line. You see Bonds there gets a nice run there. So nine rushes. Uh, nine rushes, 43 yards on that play. So first and goal, ball on the three-yard line. Bonds gets a handoff, and he tries, but oh, wait a minute, we got a flag on the field, and it's holding 
on the offense. So you see Jacob Hester gets a hold call. So that's 10 yards now. So the ball will now be on the 13 yard line. So first and goal, ball on the 13. Still second quarter. And there you see Bonds gets roughed up in the backfield there by Hightower. So he gets a tackle. So second and goal, Manning throws, throws to Thomas, and Thomas getting in the end zone, not being touched. Touchdown for the Broncos. So now the Broncos are on the board now. Uh, score now being 10 to 6. It'll be 10 7 after the field goal if it's a good field goal. And we'll see here in the video. You see that replay right there, not being touched at all. So the field goal is good. And the Turn around, the Pagers come back with a touchdown. So now makes it 17-7 after the field goal attempt. Extra point attempt there. So he's goal third and three. And then you see Bonds gets the touchdown, or gets the uh, first down. I'm sure he won a touchdown that time. So we go ahead and go first and 10, ball and six. And there you see a bad pass from Manning to Bonds. So uh, Manning, Manning to Mons can... Manning to Bonds connection. I'm trying to get it right. Is not doing so, not doing too hot for them. So we go ahead and get to second and ten here. Second and ten. Ball on the, on the 36 yard line. There you see they try to connect again and does this time. It's a first down. There you see two receptions, 45 yards. Nice play right here. Let's see the replay right there. Bonds able to get some space between him and the defender. And open, get open enough for Manny to get him the ball. So first and ten, ball on the 42-yard line. Well, less than almost less than four minutes left in this quarter. There you see a nice pass to LaFell right there. A 30-yard gain right there on that one play right there. So LaFell gets his first reception for 30 yards right there. You see Manning a fake handoff to Bonds, but ends up throwing it deep, and LaFell has to dive for it right here. Let's see this dive. It's an amazing dive. Right there, he catches it and gets the first down. So, first and 10, ball on the 12-yard line inside the red zone here. And you see Bonds getting around that tackle, and then he gets about two yards on that play. So, makes it second and eight. Ball on the 10-yard line, you see Bonds goes into the end zone, and oh, he is stuffed right at the one-yard line. And you see 15 carries, 60, uh, 68 yards in the game. So we're going to go for another, it looks like an ISO here on the goal line. And you go first and goal and one yard. And oh, it's a touchdown. But wait a minute, we have an injury. And it looks like a Patriot is down. And then you see Bonds gets his first touchdown of the day, a rushing touchdown there of one yard. So big ups to him. He is doing very well. He's his 15th. Rushing touchdown of the season, leading the National Football League with that 15th touchdown run right there. There you see a replay. Talk about a uh, talk about a workhorse right there. So they get the extra points, 14-17. Just about a minute and a half left in the second quarter, and then you see Bonds gets a nice eight-yard run right there. So second and eight. With 52 seconds left in this quarter, where you see Thomas gets a pass from Manning, a nice touch or a nice uh, first down, and now they're on the ball's on the 21 yard line. So 20 ball on 21 yard line, first and 10, 20 seconds left in the ball game. They hand off to Bond. Bond shrugs that one guy out, tack off, almost shrugs the second one before he gets the, not before he gets the first down. And moves the chain. So, ball on the 10 yard line. First and 10. 13 seconds left in the ball game. Bonds hands off, but gets a handoff in a stuff right at the line of a loss of a yard. So, first and 10. Ball on the 28 yard line. And there you see uh, we're in the third quarter now. Uh, the tie uh, score 17 14. There you see a touchdown. Open up the qu third quarter there with a nice rushing touchdown there. Makes the score now 20 to 17. It'll be 21 17 after the, after the extra point here in the opening uh, minutes of the third quarter. And there you see Bonds just being a beast out there. Look at him. Just uh, get off of me. Yeah. Yeah, that little juke move right there. 
and getting that first down. So we'll go ahead and send the game, and we're in the latter half, uh, latter part of the third quarter with 2:25 left. We see uh, the Broncos, or excuse me, the uh, Patriots get a touchdown, and then they later on they get a field goal to make it 24-21. So. The uh, Broncos are down by three. And you see third, second and three. And you see a nice run from Bonds. And Bonds, oh, breaks in one tackle, but gets tackled there. You see 24 carries, 154 yards in the ball game. So second and 12, uh, Manning uh, got sacked and lost two on the play previous to that. And then you see he over uh, misses the throw there and doesn't get it. Uh, can't get unable to get the first down so we have to punt the ball so we go to second and 12 we're in the fourth quarter you see bonds gets the ball he takes it breaks that one tackle breaks the second tackle and but is pushed out of bounds but does get the first down and then you see a patriots down on the entry so uh, patriots are not looking too healthy for this ball game bonds is doing a lot of damage to their players and you see first and 10 and a nice run right there a nice 10 yard run right there the ball was on the 18 yard line he's now in the eight yard line so he's in the, within the 10 yard within the 10 there on that play so another handoff to bonds there you see out with not being touched at all touchless inside the end zone there touchdown Broncos. So that is his second touchdown of the day. That's his 16th of the year. There you see number 38 taking that ball. Look how he's protecting the ball, going in there, getting that touchdown. There you see a great, good, great blocking right there from Hester and the whole offensive line there. So touchdown, Broncos. Now it's going to make it 27-24. After the extra point, it will be 28-24. So now we go to the last two minutes of the game. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Broncos have the lead by four. All they have to do now is run the clock. Ball's uh, third and one. Ball on the 32 yard line. A nice run there. Bonds all shakes that one put guy off, the second guy off, and now he's tackled by a swarm of Patriots there. So now the Patriots have to call a timeout, and we go ahead and send the game. So uh, Bonds sits out for a couple of plays here. So first and 15. Uh, we get a uh, holding call. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, holding call there. And we're going to have to go back five. So we're going to the second and 16 after that loss right there for Bonds. Second and 16 ball on the 18-yard line. And there you see Bonds struck off one, two. Oh, three guys. But wait a minute, another holding call. So now that we have to go back five yards, excuse me. Uh, now I just realized that was a, a play that we lost. It was at first and 15. That was actually a false start. So now we're back to where we were at previously. Second and 16. And there you see it. We try to run on that play, but unable to. So with a minute 39, we have to, no choice but to uh, punt the ball. And actually, we end up uh, kicking the ball. I actually don't punt it, but we actually uh, kick the field goal and get the extra point or the uh, three points, make it 31 24. The game ends uh, with the Patriots trying to make it last minute drive, but unable, unsuccessfully able to get the touchdown to get the lead. So there you see the final score 31 24. There you see uh, Patriots players and Broncos players chat with one another. There you see uh, Darling uh, there talking about that guy. Uh, catch that he made um, against me uh, in the uh, first quarter you see uh, Patriots players have their head down because now they're four and one for the season and there you see the final score 31 24 now the Broncos are five and zero, oh, and have to get ready for next week so there you see some of the highlights of the game and that field goal right there they made at the beginning of the game being the first ones to score for the day against the Broncos. What a game. So we're going to get to some stats here in just a bit. All right, so there you see uh, big day for uh, 
Yeah, reading some of these comments that you see, uh, Skip Bayless uh, running back uh, may be less important now, but can't you tell me Bonds without uh, T.J. Bonds getting a thousand yards is is not a bad thing? So, also uh, I believe he had uh, two touchdowns, a uh, hundred and fifty yards, and uh, a couple receptions in the game against the Patriots so we're going to go ahead and see what we're going to, what we have to do for next week and there you see uh, 1,000 uh, 1,000 uh, 1,056 yards uh, for that game uh, so far this season and there you see the stats uh, from the game uh, rushing to uh, yeah 216 uh, but I believe 100, 170, actually now looking at my stats here, 170 of those were of Mr. Bond. So great day for him. And we'll go ahead and go to get ready for week six. Uh, uh, you see some of the games there, regular season games there being simulated. We'll see who we have to play against next week. Uh, we'll see if it's going to be a AFC opponent or if it's going to be um, outside of the, of the uh, NFC or AFC West uh, but first let's take a look here 17 touchdowns already for the season uh, 100, 1,000, uh, 1,056 yards for the season uh, 22 broken tackles wow uh, and he had tw he had uh, 11 20 plus yard runs so far his longest run is 40 Eight yards. We see receptions 42 and receiving yards 842 for the ball game. And we have, there you see five. I believe he has the most reception, uh, receiving touchdowns for the team, which is five. So there you see five and zero oh, uh, for the Broncos, three and one for the uh, Raiders and Chiefs and Chargers both have three and two for a record this season so far. So there you see we play against the Chargers. So. Uh, come back for the next episode where the Broncos and TJ head out to SoCal to go against the San Diego Chargers at San Diego Stadium. There you see the Chargers are, like I said, three and two for the season. We're five and zero. Oh. Can we go undefeated and be six and zero oh and walk out of San Diego as winners? We'll see. Until then, as always, uh, hit that like button if you guys uh, if you guys like the video. Or if you're new to the channel, so make a subscription. And all as always, make a comment about the channel, um, about the video or the channel, or what things you guys want to see on the channel. As always, keep yourselves and other healthy, and I'll see you guys next time here on ESGN Net of Madden 13 Connected Career with TJ Bonds. See you guys later.